To the people of Sangin, this is now a familiar sight. Soldiers patrolling through their fields and villages as a show of force against the Taliban. <laughs> what they're not so used to is being thanked for their forbearance in their own language. The local we uh, spoke to today on patrol that um, we've been in his uh, compound before, he, he speaks quite a bit of Dari. And the first time I met him, he was quite taken back. He didn't believe it at first. He thought they'd uh, dress, dress me up in, uh, in, in British combats as an Afghan soldier. Lieutenant David Duffus is one of a growing number of British servicemen and women trained to speak either Dari or Pashto to help foster closer relations with the Afghan people. Well, it just shows a bit of a sign of respect that British soldiers are, are putting the effort in to try and learn, one, the local culture and two, the language. And it, it just helps, helps you get break the ice with the locals and with the ONA. And uh, you can get a lot more information as well at the local nationals. They feel a bit easier if they can speak to you in Pashto or Dari. Not all the information he receives is good news. Just saying uh, they've got eyes on our patrol and uh, they're preparing weapons. Um, be prepared for contact, pretty much. But the threat proved unfounded on this patrol. Duffus is a platoon commander at a small patrol base on the edge of the green zone. The number of people he comes into daily contact with is small, so he started writing a blog on the British Army website in English and Dari, through which he can tell the wider Afghan community about his experiences and successes. So there's one or two Pashto words that they, they use rather than Dari words, um, which have started to mix in, be able to mix in now with the Dari. And I've just picked up a few um, military specific words that the ANA used rather than um, developed it to a big extent. But um, it has helped, obviously, being out here and speaking to the ANA. It's more military terms that I've uh, picked up on in Dari, which is obviously working with the ANA. <laughs> Duffus is only halfway through his Afghan tour. He's hoping to be able to speak both languages well by the time he goes home.